Hello. How so? Mr. Arthur, I told Dutch I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here? What they want? I have no idea. They see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Karen. Mm-hmm. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. I 
Let's go, boy. Did the university send you? Because if they did, they can get lost. <laughs> I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at, balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What are you doing? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir! Hey, you! What do you want? Howdy. 
You Granger? That's my name. And my occupation, too, if you hadn't noticed. Weren't always like that, though, were you? you used to be a quick draw guy. You knew Jim Boy Calloway? Used to be's correct. Them days are long over. And who might you be? Don't matter. I need you to tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? <laughs> well, shit. I can't talk to you now. Look at me. I'm knee deep in hog crap. Well, don't mind me. We can talk while you work. <laughs> I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, young man like you get it done in half the time. I don't know about that. What's to know? You interested in the old days? If you shovel this shit, I tell you some stories. You keep your hands clean, I don't give you squat. God damn it. These better be some stories. Oh, they are. Pick up the fork and get to work. Or get out of here and stop wasting my time. All right. Shovel your damn shit. Jim Boy weren't nothing, you know. Me? I killed men, women, and children, too. Animals. I even killed rocks. And I killed them good. I shot folks, stabbed folks, skinned folks. I scalped some. <laughs> Boy, they scream when you scalp them. Hey, let me work. Don't know what's got into these hogs, but I know what's coming out of them. <laughs> I bash folks, butchered folks. I burn folks alive. Buried folks alive. One time, I... Hey, I get it, all right? You're me. What about Callaway? You have no idea, girlie. By a feminine type like you, I'd probably have chopped your head off, stuffed you, and eaten you like a sausage. No doubt. That's a sloppy one. Now it's clean enough to eat off. Yeah, I guess I'm done. Get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. All right. No shortage of shit round here. Comes from hungry hogs and no hands. Uh, uh, hell, uh, that stinks. <laughs> okay, I cleaned up your mess. Go on, tell me about Callaway. I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, anything. You're making a book, you should make it about me. They're just words, is all. Give me something to say, and I'll leave you alone. You owe me that. Hey, you be careful. <sighs> Killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. One hey, time... You know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer? Well, you'd already be hog feed. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this far. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote from the book! Hey, hey, hey you don't, you don't hit no man to peace, no government witness. <laughs> Galloway said you was full of piss, but he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girlie. Only you ain't worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Well, seeing as I cleaned up this pig's die, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck it. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. All I wanted was a quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. That's my stick! You walk away right now. Stop going! There you go. No. No. No! You did not! Closed! You just took yourself a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. Boy, that's real nasty. You earned yourself a killing. And I'm gonna enjoy it now. Draw! It's gonna be the last thing you do.
How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Just hey. keep your eyes open. Hey. Where is that little Irish best? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they want to trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well... We'll rescue Sean, and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Follow me. Let's see if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. There, look. I think that's our boat. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, we should keep it down. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Pick up the pace a bit. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Get your binoculars out. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. 
Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Look out! Quietly, if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Crouch down out of sight. Take out your knife. Wait. Okay, let's move down. Don't cross until he's got their attention. Hold up, he's doing his thing. Gentlemen, excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill, gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. She's you take the one on the left. Okay, come on. Stay low. I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, um, I can't, I can't. I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> Okay, let's get after him. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Two halfway up the canyon to deal with.
that far. The camp's up this way. Come on. I'll take the left side, Charles. You go right, okay? I guess. Let's take these equal ah! ah! Goddamn army of these bastards. How much is shot? Still time. Forward. Look out. We got one shooting from the tower. You move and I'll kill you. Somebody shoot that thing. Show up. What do you use help me out here? Hey, someone cut this rope. Me head's killing me. Less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper I can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all missed me a lot. But fear not, the joy's back in your lives now.
of sorts here. I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Can't think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Shall I hop up there on the, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? <sighs> well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little demeaning. What are you doing out here, anyway? It clearly ain't your natural habitat. I don't uh, know. I'm just visiting. Uh, I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all, I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard. A little bespoke woodwork and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here after all, more fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. N no offense. Little taken. Oh, I remember that. We're on the path. Resourceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. All right. Well, keep that in mind. I never thought I'd be so happy to see this pulp heap. New Yorkers. Jesus. complain about New York again, let me tell you. for me. That's good to hear. <laughs> Yo. 
Yeah. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months, and now I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. Yes! Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't no Driscoll.
can see that. Oh, who else wants to step up? Come on! Let's go! Where are we going? Making a house call. Gonna be dead! Son of glory! At least more! You really should get out of here. Calm yourself, woman. Like I said, I need to see someone. Skinny! Get out of here! Micah, it's Norman. Oh. Oh. You always was a letdown, you oh. fat sack of crap. Oh. Excuse me a minute, Arthur. Oh. Hello, Maddie. Did you miss me? They had something of mine. My guns. I showed him, and I'll show the rest of this town! You have really lost it this time. Take him down! a house call in the middle of all that ain't much I care about more than those guns that much is clear who was that fella skinny yeah we ran together for a while did a bank job down south didn't end well I saw how it goddamn ended he was gonna let me hang I'm starting to wish I had and you old Lenny too 
He hadn't found us in time. Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. My way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. Sons of Dutch makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp around back of Strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>